Hi everyone, it's Patty Alaka back with some tools for living. I hope that you're doing well today, but even if you're not, I'm really glad that you've chosen to spend this time with me. I'm really excited about what the Lord has put on my heart to speak about today. Today we're going to talk about paired associates. Have you ever heard of that term before? Paired associates? The Lord has a lot to say about that, but before we get started, Let's go to prayer as the Lord reminds us to pray without ceasing. Heavenly Father, wonderful Lord Jesus, glorious Holy Spirit, we come to your throne on our knees in humility today, Lord. Uh, we thank you for all the ways that you're working in our lives, Lord. We ask that you heal me and whoever is watching this video today, Lord, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and relationally. Teach us what it is that you would like us to know. Not my will, but your will, Lord. Not my words, but your words, Lord. We ask all of this in your powerful and mighty name, Lord Jesus. Amen. So thank you again for being here today. Um, I'm just so excited. It's a brand new season. It's summertime. Any fans of summer out there? I love summer. I know those of us that are on the school calendar absolutely love summer. Um, this year I actually had 10 weeks and one day to play with. So I am so grateful and I feel so blessed that the Lord has given me some time to work on some projects around my home. I'm going to be doing some painting, uh, a lot of purging, getting rid of a lot of stuff. And um, I'm excited about that. And I kind of joke, you know, I always say like the summer patty, um, you know, has all this time to play with. And all year long, I think about, you know, all the things that I'm doing. I'm always, you know, doing so many things. As you know, I'm a school nurse during the day and I have a private practice. I see clients in the evenings and I do a bunch of other things. Um, so I'm pretty busy. I cram a lot of things in to the school calendar. So whenever I have household projects to do, I always say, let's wait till the summertime. We'll do everything in the summertime. But then the summertime comes and summertime Patty is like, are you kidding me? I've worked so hard all year. I am going to rest this summer. So it's always a joke between the school year Patty and the summer Patty, you know, that, you know, who's going to get this work done? So I've decided that um, it is really time to get a lot of things done. And I've asked the Lord to really help me. And sometimes what's really helpful when it's really hard to get things done and get yourself motivated is to really shift your perspective. And that's what we're going to talk about today with paired associates. Paired associates is a term um, that was actually started and studied by Mary uh, Witten Calkins in 1894, but a lot of psychologists jumped on the bandwagon and really discovered a lot about paired associates. Paired associates is really, as we've talked about in the past, is really joining two ideas, two things, uh, people, places, things, uh, whatever it is uh, that you are doing in your life, you may not even be aware of it, where uh, one thing will automatically remind you of another. I think about, you know, as I've talked about, like if we look at the, the same four walls, uh, sometimes just looking at the same four walls will remind us of an issue that we're going through or an issue that we're processing. That's why it's always good uh, to try to go to a neutral environment shift your furniture around, um, but have a fresh new perspective uh, can absolutely help you to focus on a different part of that. Uh, but of course, I always say, you know, invite the Lord in with wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Um, but let's take a moment to think about what might be some things that are linked in your life. Are you going through a hard time? Are you going through a hardship? Are you going through a change in your life? Um, or it could just be big or small. It doesn't even matter how big or small it is. Just take a moment to think about uh, what you would like to look at. Um, and I really encourage this as a homework assignment this week to really look at what two things are linked. I can give you an example of my own life. Um, as I mentioned, I like to do some summertime things. One of the things that I love to do during the summer is read novels, fiction, and just kind of go on these mini vacations as I uh, read into novels or fiction. But what happens when I read fiction often is I'm grabbing the potato chips or I'm grabbing the chocolate. I'm grabbing something automatically when I read a book, you know, my mind, my stomach, my taste buds 
want to gravitate towards something. Um, so those two things are linked together in my mind. A book, reading a book, and then grabbing something to eat to enjoy while I'm reading the book. So I'm inviting the Lord in and I'm asking him to help me think about other things that I can do while I'm reading. For instance, water is very good to drink. You know, they always recommend if you don't have any kidney problems or heart problems to drink half your body weight in ounces. So for me, I'm a big girl, so uh, a good, you know, three liters would be a good amount of water for me to drink every day. So, um, so one thing that I've been practicing doing as, I, as I've been reading is I've been drinking water. I have my, my water cup or my, uh, my water uh, bottle and I'm just trying to get my water in. And it's very refreshing and that is a way that I am linking to new ideas. So now when I have a book that I'm reading, I will automatically focus on drinking my water. So there are times where we have, again, two things that are linked in our life that are not so good to be linked. You know, we really need to sever those ties. And then there are things that we can add to our life and in a healthy way, link them, um, as I've just mentioned. So I want you to think about uh, in your journal time this week, what is it that you're linking that you're not even aware of? Remember, our subconscious mind is so filled with so many habits and thoughts and behaviors that we've experienced probably from the day that we were born, maybe even in utero as we were picking up um, energies from our mother and our environment. So I really want you to think about what's in your subconscious mind? What is linked that has been there that's, that you haven't even thought about? And little by little, as you replace it with healthy things, you know, if you can focus on eating more fruits and vegetables and linking that with something that you do on a regular basis, you could start putting in some healthy habits. One thing that I'm doing this summer, I'm really excited is I'm, I'm really getting rid of a lot of things that we haven't needed in our basement and we're uh, creating a nice little exercise place. So I'm excited about getting that ready so that every day I can go down there and go on my machines and my circuits and hopefully lose some weight. Uh, but really looking at how I can link uh, summertime, the newness, the paint with um, exercising and putting all those uh, wonderful exercise equipment down there. So that's those are some things that I'm thinking about. Um, you know, obviously these are just little mini examples. We can think about, you know, anyone that is breaking up um, a relationship. You know, what are some two things that have been linked that you did maybe with your partner or uh, a group of people or whoever it is that uh, may no longer be in your life that might bring up some sadness, revisit that and look at what it is that you can do to gently take apart some of those connections so that um, you can feel so much better. And then link some healthy things together. What might be some ways that you can uh, discover new habits, meet some new people, uh, enjoy uh, connecting with the Lord. I always like to say that, you know, we're so blessed as Christians that we have the Lord with us everywhere we go, no matter what we do. The wonderful Father that made us, the wonderful Son that saved us, and the Holy Spirit that lives within us. So the Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit is available to us at all times, always. And all we need to do is to call them into our heart. So use the Lord, use the Trinity, and link that with some healthy behaviors. So I want to encourage you again to think about what are some things that are linked in your life that you could separate. And then the second part is what are some healthy behaviors, activities, thoughts, feelings that you would like to incorporate in your life that you might need to link so that you can um, absolutely create that in your life and feel really good about yourself. So um, I would love to hear from you if you have any comments or questions or if you would like to schedule a session to go deeper. I am a therapist, a clinical pastoral counselor, a nurse, a life coach. I work with clients 
talk about these clients all the time. Uh, I talk about all these things with my clients at all times. Uh, it's very beneficial and when we can really use the thought of linking two behaviors uh, together or two thoughts together when we think about the 12 step program, I don't know if anyone's familiar with uh, Alcoholics Anonymous or any of the 12 step programs that derived from those programs, they are constantly linking things. They often talk about when you want to give up an addiction to change people, places, and things and create new people, places, and things. Why? Because we are linking two behaviors together so that we can automatically start to feel more peaceful, calm, and relaxed. So I'm going to end off with some scriptures that I really feel are very beneficial that the Lord put in my heart as we focus on uh, creating new healthy habits, creating new healthy behaviors, and inviting the Lord more and more into our hearts. So we'll start off with Proverbs uh, 17, 22, and it says, A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So see how it is that you can bring more joy into your life. Spend some time thinking about what makes you happy and see if you can link that with a behavior so that you can get a beautiful dose of joy in your life. That can absolutely be good medicine and lift your spirits rather than crushing um, your spirit and drying up like, uh, like the bones. In 1 Corinthians 10 31 it says so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do do it all for the glory of God I personally love linking everything with the Lord um, and it reminds me to live in the spirit man that I am as we've mentioned we are a spirit we have a soul and the soul is comprised of the mind the will and the emotions and we live in a body. We have so much to take care of, but if we can uh, read scriptures and remember scriptures and speak scriptures over all of our circumstances, we can stay in the spirit that we are. And when we can stay in the spirit that we are and we can invite the Lord into our heart, we can already uh, prepare ourselves to link something that's really healthy and beneficial for us. In Matthew 22, 37, it says, And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. So I really want to encourage you to continue to invite the Lord into your heart. And what is it? Think about what it is that you can link the idea of the Lord, the feeling of the Lord in your heart with another behavior. Maybe it's soaking in his word his uh, living word, the basic instructions before leaving earth, the Bible, uh, or connecting with the church people, or listening to a church service, um, but really link those two things and how it is that you can ignite your spirit to focus on the amazing Holy Spirit. In John 6 35 it says, Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. So remember that the Lord really quenches our appetite. And I'm listening to myself speak at the same time. Thank you, Lord, that I don't need those chocolate chip cookies or those Pop-Tarts or the chocolate or the potato chips. If I can just stay focused on the Lord and allow him to fill me, he gives me his amazing living water. Will you join me in that? In 3 John 1, 2, it says, Dear friend, I hope all is well with you and that you are as healthy in body as you are strong in spirit. So remember this week as you're focusing on what are your paired associates? What have you linked all these years? And what do you want to separate so that you can replace it with some healthy ideas and behaviors and thoughts? Remember, that will help you to stay strong in the Spirit. And you'll be able to draw closer to the Lord, feel His presence, and allow Him to work through you to help others to heal. 
In 1 Corinthians 6, 12, it says, you say, I am allowed to do anything, but not everything is good for you. And even though I am allowed to do anything, I must not become a slave to anything. Remember, this is such an amazing, powerful uh, thought to think about. Where is it that you're linking two behaviors? And how is it that you can invite the Lord into your heart and ask him to help separate some behaviors, thoughts, and feelings, people, places, and things that are not beneficial for you? And how is it that you can bring in brand new thoughts, behaviors, people, places, and things and link those so that you can be more in the spirit that you are and allow the Lord to be in your heart. In 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 20, it says, Don't you realize that you that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. I love that so much. It just really helps me, particularly in those moments in the morning, uh, when I the alarm goes off and I'm tired, uh, I just get up and I allow the Lord to work through me, to heal me, to help me, to exercise, to go swimming, to make healthy choices, um, not only in my behaviors, but also in my thoughts. Where is it in your life that you have linked two thoughts? See if you can ask the Lord to help you separate them and invite his uh, living word to live in your mind, in your body, and in your spirit. And lastly, we will close with this, Romans 12, 1. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. So truly speaking, when we can just take all that we are mind, body, spirit, and give it all to the Lord, become that living sacrifice for him. He can heal us on every level and he can draw us closer to him. We can link him with healthy behaviors that can be a new experience for us as we put all these healthy behaviors, thoughts, people, places, and things in our subconscious mind and he can help us to be the best version that we could possibly be for him. I hope this message was helpful for you today. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I am praying for you every single day, and I ask that you please pray for me too. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.